All right, and good luck. All right, how do we want to meet this today? Okay, this intends a rapid attack. Um, well, this doesn't necessarily indicate that, but, like, this prepares a rapid attack if there's going to be one. Um, so. I'm going to close this diagonal just in case it does open. Let's see, and they're aiming both the bishop and the rook this direction. Uh, I think I want to play an opposing rook formation here. We'll see how this works out. Let's get the king castled. And not forget to build that into our castle this time. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, my, ca my opponent's castle is more developed than mine is, so I don't want to start exchanging pieces just yet. So, namely, I don't want to offer this opposing rook exchange just yet. That'd be very premature here. Um... Hmm. wonder what that move's about. interesting. Decisions, decisions. Well, their king is not fully secure. This could be an opportunity to offer a exchange. Since I'm relatively well insulated against... Well, I mean, they, they're going to drop the rook here if we do pawn, pawn, rook takes, rook takes, bishop takes. They'll drop the rook, we drop our rook. They take the knight, we take a knight. Our gold is hanging. So we're not exactly positioned for that. Um, what I'm trying to decide is, like, my gold might want to go left or right. Or even just straight up, depending on where all the rest of everything else is going. But also my bishop might drop back, as long as I don't lose control of the square. Um, moving the gold up makes it harder to activate my rook. 
Um, well, I guess if we're playing a waiting move, this is a reasonable waiting move. To see how my opponent intends to expand their castle. Just to verify. Yeah, I did close other software. So it's just OBS in this. All right. Um, so they're leading with the silver. I'm a bit confused. I mean, I should just play something, but I'd like to play a good move here. I guess we're playing a defensive move, but where is my gold going? This kind of traps the rook while the bishop is still here. So this is committing to eventually moving the bishop and moving the rook. Um... not necessarily committing to moving the knight. So they say advancing the gold is risky, but I mean, what should I do? Here it just plainly looks like the right thing to do, so we're doing it.
there are some weaknesses and that does have me concerned but um i can't just sit here forever Oh. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. All right. I see how it is. Um I guess I have to push my third file pawn then, but that lets them drop in here. Yeah, that's not good. Hmm. Yeah, this is in many ways a problem. I forgot. This traps my silver. I forgot. Well, um, yeah, that's why I needed to push this pawn instead of advancing my silver, because, like, here it is trapped. Uh, consequences, though. Maybe I could force a rook exchange if he does successfully trap the silver. Um, instead we get this position, this imbalance, where, uh, they do have a silver drop, but it, their silver is trapped back here. Well, I'm sorry, they don't have that. This pawn's not up a square like I imagined it to be, because I didn't push and they didn't push. So, after this pawn move, there's the silver drop, but I think they missed a shot early in the opening, and I just... Uh, gave them. I mean, they earned it, but still. Well, no, they have the silver, and if I take it, they take my rook. But um, that's not what happened here. Okay. Um, how do we get out of this? I mean, what do we do? I need to activate my pieces, but that's a little bit of a tall order here. Um, was the silver here even a threat? Nothing immediately. Hmm. My bishop is so clumsy. Well, I've been fearing playing this in the event that somehow a bishop ex Oh, shit. Well, okay, yeah, they're winning a gold. Um, I don't have the tactical awareness I need today. Um, so yeah, I've been saying I've been fearing a bishop exchange, but we have something worse than a bishop exchange happening right now. 
we have me just giving away material. Um, so that happened. Now this token dominates my position. Um, my knight is useless, so let's activate the knight. Albeit that means this. And then the even worse part of this is that, um, I mean, yes, I have this fork. And, well, maybe that is complicated. My concern is that after I do the fork, uh, they just move their rook to this file after we exchange, and I don't have an active rook either. So it's better for me to just uh, exchange my rook away for this horse than it is to do the fork. I need active pieces. Um, so we're going to give away the rook for a bishop and allow his other, his remaining rook here. Like, this is so sketchy, but the bishop and this diagonal are so important here that maybe it's worth it. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I had a bishop fork, but then, like, he takes the open file and there's, like, nothing I can do. And my rook is still blocked by my own pawn. I need activity. So, we're going to play something aggressive. I know before the game I mentioned that if this were rated, it could serve as a promotion game. Because, like, we're both in the same... We're only, like, 50 points away from each other. So, but my opponent uh, preferred to play unrated, so that's why we're doing unrated here. Um, but, yeah. Like, given that he's on the lower end of Wandan, if I actually, like, this is my second or third promotion attempt, if I actually do deserve it, like, it should bear out in a game like this. There's no reason I shouldn't win a game like this if I really deserve a uh, one don immediately. Um, otherwise, we're not quite there yet. <laughs> this is a strange... well, no, I mean, it makes sense to put the rook here, but it's not the best place for the rook. Also, you don't want to lead an attack with your heaviest piece. Now, if I move that, uh, he does this drop here, and that actually starts to hurt. That's his point. So I guess I am going to play the tricky move here. Even though I really want this silver to... Oh, shnipe. Um, I forgot when you promote the piece, it attacks adjacent squares. That's not great. All right. So we're going to pretend this was part of the plan and have a very active imagination about this, because, yeah, it's going to take something to win this. Um, hmm.
So my current plan is to push this pawn and try for a king rook fork, which he's going to see, and he's going to put something on the diagonal, and it's not going to happen, but we still need to have some plan. Um, oh, okay, so he's got a bishop threat down there. That's not good for me. All right, what do we do? Um... Well, no, that doesn't work. There's nowhere to run. I would run if I could, but there's nowhere to run. I would do cheeky tactics if it would make any difference, but it doesn't. Oh, the only way I can cover this square is with the, my own bishop drop. All right, fair enough. It's not a fighting move. The only fighting move I have here is this one. Which, like, begs him to put the bishop on this diagonal instead of this one. But, what can you do? And if I, like, drop my, my gold, he takes my silver. And so, like, this fork is no good. If I try do tricky like forks and stuff like I'm committing my bishop and that's just miserable. My only fighting idea here is to open this uh, file and or try to like make use of my pawns somehow since I've given away um, both a rook which is now promoted and I've given away a gold, which I desperately needed to defend my king, because I miscalculated a tactic. So, yeah. Uh, I'd like to use my silver, maybe, but that's kind of defending my gold at the moment. I'd like to put a pawn back here, but that's illegal. Um, there's a lot of things I'd like to do, but... Uh, it's going to take a running king to make this happen. Okay. Oh, that's right. I changed the voice. Um, so let's see. Do we want to climb out right now? Which way do we climb? I mean, toward the center, right? Although that invites a bishop. Oh, they, they both invite the same bishop check. And then he takes my lance. Um, let's see. Well, there's only one move where he does not check me next. Somehow this feels right. We want to avoid the dragon. We want to try to stay away from their attackers. Um, I 
and if they drop a gold, the gold becomes very heavy down here. Well, plus it wouldn't even take my knight, because like I could take back. All right. Oh, they just uh, take my silver for free. I saw that. Not. <laughs> All right. Okay, but then there's this check. Um, how do we fight back? All right, so if I push the pawn, it's mate in one. Oh, wait, no, I made it regardless. I interpose. Yeah, that's unfortunate. The only way to avoid getting mated involves heavy material loss. That is nice. Very clever. All right, well played. Good game. Yeah, so this is a double elimination tournament, and that marks my first loss of the event. I'm curious if they'd like to go over the game with us. Uh, let's attack. Um, I guess we'll go back through the game since I've got the hat. At least I see, well, somebody's got the hat. I don't see it, but I should have it. Um, yeah, I guess, uh, so I'm always working on learning more openings. Uh, ah, me too. Let's get, let's take a look at the silver drop. So, um, cause that's really... Uh, the point at which the game ended. So, uh, this was my plan. Um, uh, but, um, this doesn't quite work. Yeah, so I was confused. Um, so clearly I can't do that. Um, hmm. Probably I should have uh, just done this since, like, I've actually trapped the rook. Um, yeah, this would have been a much better way to handle the position. Now, granted, they're still very well off here. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm still in trouble, but at least I can manage a, to drop my rook somewhere. Yeah. It's playable, at least. Uh, but, um... Yeah, what I ended up doing is just not any good at all. Uh, um, and... Even here, where my silver's tied to the back rank, completely stranded in the middle of nowhere. At least I haven't given it to the opponent. Yeah. Yeah, so this is probably not the best place to start the analysis, but um, it's definitely the one that stands out the most. Uh, I wonder how I can counter this. Um, so, like, this is obviously coming. Um, okay, so this did briefly cross my mind as I was in severe time pressure already. It actually crossed my mind after I moved, um, which doesn't really help, but I wonder. It just feels like this is still hard to stop. Um... Right, so this puts pressure on my center, so I can't exactly, like, bring the bishop out this way right now. <sighs> so what can I try? Um, I guess here I have to try uh, the only tactical idea that's in the position. Oh, but then pawn drops on my head again. Um, 
Right, and then we go back. At least the rook's slightly more active up here where there's a few more free squares and it's near the focus point. But it's still not that pleasant. But this is better than the game, anyhow. Um, yeah, yeah, so I was so confused about all of this. Oh. So, yeah, maybe moving the bishop away was not the best, the best move. Um, when did I move it? Right now. So, yeah, hmm. So, yeah, the pawn can't immediately hit the head of this bishop. Um, so maybe the bishop is fine here for a little while. Okay. Oh, this is what Morius played yesterday. I did take a brief look at that game. I was so fixated on the end game that I forgot what opening they started with. Um. Yeah. Look at that game. I don't remember all of it. Uh, uh, so. And yeah, the end game in that game was very exciting and just overwhelmed me. <laughs> um. Oh, sorry, real birds re referring to a bridge that we're no longer looking at. Um, but yeah, I think more generally, like, you might be right that that gold capture could have worked better. I did think about it, although then the gold was pinned to the rook, and I, they do another pawn drop, and I didn't see what to do about it, but again, that could have been better than what the game happened here. Uh, oh, your gold was back here. I see. Yeah. Oh, back there. That 4-9. Right. Um, and... Yeah, so this opposing rook opening uh, has some fireworks, but you need to play it carefully. And um, I didn't play it carefully enough, so yeah, that's how that goes. Here, advancing the rook doesn't really make as much sense in that other position, because the other position they have this pawn threatening to invade right away. Here, the rook's fine where it is, and if the pawn drops, we just drop the bishop back. That's okay. Um, yeah. I was uh, hoping to find time to move my other pieces, but that never really happened. Oh, all right. So yeah, I needed to like bring this forward to five four. I did think about this. I don't know why about this stressed me out so much. Oh, and then I could chase after the bishop if I have to. If I get overwhelmed on this left half of the board, I can, like, chase down the bishop and start attacking the king. I've tried it before. He hasn't worked before, but that's because I was too impatient. But, yeah, having it on 5-4 gives me options to play with. Um, but, yeah, no, that's a very good point about me taking the bishop off this diagonal. Um... So what was I so concerned about here? What was I so concerned about? I'm not sure. I guess, what if they do this? I don't know. Ha! Huh. It certainly uh, worked. 
worked well enough. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this, this definitely confused me. I've played Opposing Rook sometimes before, um, but never gotten this anything in quite like this. It's so, yeah, I just had no idea. And 15 minutes is not a lot of time to figure things out, believe it or not. Um, but, um... Oh. Wait. Um... Wait, so if I push here, does he even have to take that? Like, what about this? Okay. I'm not totally sure what's going on here. Knight takes? Okay, ah! Ah. Uh. Story is covered after all. Uh, yeah, no, okay, this could maybe work. Yeah, the knight does control a lot of space. Um, very nice again. Wow. Well, this might get unclear. Yeah, I think moving the knight could... Oh, right. I actually have some attacking chances if I do move the knight. Wow. I keep underestimating these attacking chances because against strong players, they see all this stuff and they prevent it. Um, but he's pointing out that like if I'm playing Gota's side of this and allowing this position, if I play my Rook to the fourth file, suddenly this breakthrough happens. But nobody ever makes the mistake of moving the Rook over too early. Because uh, they've all seen this before, although it's new to me. Um, uh, we move to four eight invites uh, this attack. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, that that's pretty mild. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So, uh, do you think of what else to review? Uh, but, uh, I blunders, um, didn't give us a very long game. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's making lots of very good points here. Um, so there's not very much it remaining in the game after I blundered heavily. Yeah. This is kind of how it went. <laughs> well, I guess that's about it for the analysis. Uh... <sighs> Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's unfortunate, but that's just how it went. Um, all right, cool. So, yeah, this is uh, how the game ended. For the curious as to like why I resign here, there's only one move I have to actually stop a checkmate. So variations here. One variation. Um, pawn moves, nightmate. Okay, got that. 
Same idea if the bishop gets dropped here, knight mates. Same idea if I move the pawn and we see all those same variations. So the only way I can stop in a mate from immediately happening is to give up my only remaining attacking piece. And I just wasn't going to do this. And this just like renews all the mate threats all over again. There's absolutely nothing to play for here other than hoping for a severe blunder on the opponent's part. And that's just not a constructive use of time. So, um, yeah. Um, so what that means back here is like when he did this, this would have been slightly better or different anyway. I'm not even sure how different it would be because like we see much the same thing happen here anyway. Um, so, yeah, I figured, like, I mean, there's, they could even, like, take this silver or take my gold or something. Like, there's no way that I survive this with my king. It's just not happening. Um, yeah, so, like, they take here, and if I take back, uh, my king just does not make it out of here. Um, it's just not happening. I mean, I could try something like that, but it's just, you don't want to play this position. In fact, yeah, even that doesn't work. So, like, to try to survive this, I'd have to give up the rook, and that just invites a mate on the column anyway. So, nothing really to hope for there. Um, so, yeah, that's why at the end of the game, it played out the way it did. Um, so, yeah, that marks... Uh, I've got one win, one loss in this double elimination tournament. Um, then there's another section. If I actually happen to escape this double elimination part, there's another t section. And then there's a face-off against uh, like a challenger champion sort of situation. So we'll see how that goes. Um, certainly be watching the games if not playing them. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.